for Titino. She'll tee up a drive. It'll go wide. Doyle plays that down low. Warren is a first and over in front. It's been hard and she scores. Terrier strike first. One nothing BU. is and Menard just gets that one right in front in the slot and she makes no mistake as she lifts it and there you have it it's one nothing already for the Terriers early. Menard's 15th goal of the season and this one of two women's college hockey tournament games being played today as LaFour walks her way in. LaFour shot score! Sarah LaFour the freshman out of Quebec the Terriers lead two to nothing. This comes right off the draw. It hits LaFour in the back, but she picks it up, and she will take it in. Make no mistake, that is a goal scorer's goal. She's going short side high, and Coach DeRoche has talked about the fact that she is the consummate finisher, and she just showed us why right there. Huskies able to work it out. Puck will be played by Savage down deep in the BU zone. The Berlina Braga back behind the net. Savage getting in on the forecheck now. See if some pressure, and there's a loose puck in front of the score by Coyne. Just a little broken play behind the net. Squirts out in front to one of the most dangerous players in the country, and it's a 2-1 game. Savage. Look at the work here by the winger. She is just battling. She worked it hard down the boards, then behind, and then Coyne, it squirts out to her, and she puts it in on the backhand. We've been waiting to see Coyne bury one, and there she does, and we've got a hockey game now, Dan, 2-1. to one. Pick it with a takeaway. She gets taken down there. Center pass here. Wallace, it goes just wide. Set up by Coyne. Marie-Philippe Poulin. From Beauceville, Quebec. Sends it across in front for a shot and a score by Kohanchuk. What a pass and what a finish. And the Terriers take a two-goal lead again. It's 3-1. to one. Dan, I said this in the intermission. I had a feeling about Janelle Kohanchuk. I just knew that she's been buzzing all game and she was going to score here. And look at this. Poulin doing the work, brings it down the wing, throws it in front. And Kohanchuk back door and just nets it. And really, the Winnipeg Manitoba native. Massey back to her line. Esposito. Walks her way into the zone. Esposito did sneak around the defense. Right between the circles. Gets a back in shot away. She scores. Esposito. What an individual effort. And it's back to a one-goal game. Esposito makes it 3-2. to two. Dan, you just talked about the individual effort of Esposito, and what I'm about to tell you may blow your mind. She's playing on a torn ACL, so she's doing all of this, finishing it backhand, squeezing it through there, and getting her team within one, doing it all with a torn ACL. Unbelievable effort and heart by that young lady. Just a great goal, great effort, and it does just sneak through. Trying to get it back for LaFour, back checking on her to Take the puck away, though, Santo Stefano. Campbell with a far point, though. Terriers keep it in the zone. Sarah LaFour. Centers one here. Cohen Chuck shot. Score! Her second of the period. The senior puts the Terriers back on top by a pair. It's now a 4-2 game. Look at this here, Poulin, she just puts a little bit of a stick on it, which calms it down, Sarah LaFour, what a dish, right to Kahanchuk, and she buries it. She's so good at that release and just directing in the puck. She did so on her first goal within earlier in the period today, and uh, what a big goal for Janelle, the senior, with two, putting her team back up by two. Menard, who had the first goal of the game for BU, back up at the point, now it's Fratkin. Menard gets it again. 
Menard holding here. Back to Fracken. Schill on Torko. A timer oh. tipped and score! I think Tatino got the redirection on it. Only power play chance of the game results in a power play goal and a 5 2 lead for the Terriers. Dan, this is a crushing goal against Northeastern. Here it is. Works it up to the point and just rips it. But like you said, it's deflected off the stick or the skate part of me of Tatino, so it does get a little bit of help. But that's a great goal. Good idea to shoot it. And they have a three-goal lead. And a 35 save performance today. She's just so quiet in her crease. She's so structurally sound, and she always gives her team a chance to win because she does not give up on a puck. It's not, you know, the craziest thought that your tender's going to be your MVP, but she definitely earned it in the... Esposito into the zone. Cardella a takeaway. She played it to space. That'll allow Miller to get after it and send it down ice. A Boston University team in just its eighth year of existence. One of the elite teams in college hockey. Now with its third women's Hockey East title. A 5-2 win for the Terriers. Boston University has collected its third women's Hockey East championship with a 5-2 win here. On Cape Cod as the... Terriers like this building. Second year, the Women's Hockey East Tournament has been here. Second year in a row that the Terriers have emerged as Women's Hockey East champions. See down at ice level, already the locker room caps on. Brian DeRocher, only coach in Boston University women's hockey history. And we're going to send it down to ice level to pick up the post-game ceremony. University, Louise Warren. A junior from Boston University, Marie Philippe Poulin. And a sophomore from Northeastern University, Kendall Coyne. <laughs> Members of the media have also selected the most valuable player in this year's tournament. This year's Hockey East Tournament most valuable player, a junior goalie from Boston University, Karen Sperry. And now, presented for the first time, the newly created Britannia Trophy, presented to the 11th Annual Women's Hockey East Champions, please welcome Coach Brian DeRocher and seniors and captains of the 2013 Hockey East Champions, the Terriers from Boston University.
Princeton University raises the newly named Britannia Trophy, named after Hockey East Commissioner Joe Britannia. He just got to present that for the first time ever to the Boston University Terriers, who now have three Women's Hockey East Tournament Championships. Just their eighth year of Division I college hockey. On their way next week, also earning an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. They would have been in the tournament as an at-large bid anyway, but always nice to go into the national tournament after a victory. Isabel Menard, who scored the first goal of the game for BU. Getting her team started while the Third period, really key, a three-goal third period, including a pair from Janelle Kohanchuk in the middle of that scrum there, the senior, as they celebrate with a trophy and a photograph they'll remember for the rest of their lives. The 2013 Women's Hockey East champions. We'll go down to ice level. Here is Leah Hextall with Janelle Kohanchuk. Yeah, Dan, Janelle, let's just face it. Last year at this time, you had the concussion. You didn't get a chance to be on the ice and celebrate, but two huge goals today to help you propel them to that title. How does this feel? Uh, this just uh, feels like I, uh, the team accomplished what we needed to do. We came out here uh, wanting to win, and we just worked so hard, gave it 110% on the ice. So it just feels amazing, and I just feel honored uh, to have this second time in the year. Now, obviously, three championships in the last four years, quite the dynasty going on at BU. I know that Karen Sperry was named the MVP, but when you look at the effort that was put into the 60 minutes today, it was such a complete effort by this Terriers team. Yeah, I definitely, uh, Karen Sperry had an unbelievable two games here for Hockey East Tournament, but I believe that every single Terrier on our team uh, can deserve the MVP. Everyone put everything on the ice, and I think everyone just did a great job. You're a senior, you're ending with a championship, but what will you remember in your time at BU? I'm going to definitely remember all these moments with my teammates, these championships that we, ha that we have had, and just all the moments that we share with one another is going to continue further as I go on. All right, Janelle, go celebrate with the team. Thank, Thank you so you much. So Congratulations. Much. Thank you.